many days we have gone already? 364. Mighty God, one more to go. Say one more, one more to go. You can't imagine that God has carried us 364 days out of the year. Isn't that enough to give God thanks this morning? Yeah. Eh? Some people there in their last day and they say, God, only one more day. Only one more minute. Only one more second. And we are here. This morning I want to share a word with you. And I'm going to set a context. And I'm not going to stay long this morning. Don't, I, I won't be long this morning. Amen. Amen. I want to say a big thank you to the prophet of this house. He's not here today. But Hallelujah. we just bless him this morning. I want to say, Spirit of God, start to do that anointing on your son right now in the name of Jesus. Where he is right now, God, from the crown of his head to the sole of his feet. Healing is his portion in the name of Jesus this morning. Hallelujah. I'll claim that in the name of Jesus this morning. I want you to turn your Bible with me this morning from the King James Version. Joshua 5, verse 6. For the children of Israel walked 40 years in the wilderness, till all the people that were men of war, till the people that were men of war, which came out of Egypt, were consumed because they obeyed not the voice of the Lord, on whom the Lord swore that he would not show them the land, which the Lord swore unto their fathers, that he would give us a land that flowed with milk and honey. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me set a context here this morning. The children of Israel, they went on a journey from Egypt to the promised land which God has promised them. And because in terms of their disobedience, a journey that was supposed to take 40 days took 40 years. And they went around through the wilderness, all type of hardship. They were all complaining. God provided for them. They didn't have to do nothing. God gave them food to eat. When God gave them manna, they said, God, may I get too much bread around here, sir? You have full me of carbohydrate. I said, God, I want some meat. I said, when you want meat? So God just caused a wind to blow. And all the quail, them start coming. And them eat, and them eat, and them eat till them get sick, and some of them dead out. Sometimes you ask God for some things, you know, and God no, no, say it good for you. You know that? And sometimes God gives you your own detriment. But this morning, we don't want to be like the children of Israel. And God gave me a scripture this morning. I want you to turn to Deuteronomy 2 and verse 1 to 3. Then we turned and took our journey into the wilderness by the sea, the way of the Red Sea, as the Lord spake unto me. And we come past Mount Seir many days. Say many days. many days. And the Lord spake unto me, saying, Ye have come past this mountain long enough, turn you northward. Mighty God. And I said, God, what, where is the scripture taking us this morning? Anywhere God has taken us this morning, we're going there this morning. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. You have come, come past this mountain long enough, yeah. turn you northward. And this morning, what God wants to say to us is change direction. Stop, change direction. You're going around in circle. We're walking around in circle. Hello, I want some man up here. Come, come, brother. Come here, come here, come here. Come here, come, brother. I can't worry, come. This is the, the children of Israel at the time. Follow me, we're going around in circles. Follow me. Follow me, man. Follow back at me, man. Follow me. And the children are going around in circles. And God said, stop, change direction. Change direction. Change direction. Change direction. Change direction. Stop. Change direction. Change direction. Change direction. Change direction. Stop. Change direction. Stop. Hallelujah. Gentlemen, we're supposed to get fit this morning. We can't take on the seat. Thank you very much, sir. Hallelujah. We're going around in circles. And I see people prophetic in this church going around in circles. We're going around in circles. 364 days for the year, we're going in circles. Mighty God, we're going around in circles. Look here, when you're going around in circles, you get dizzy. You know, when you get dizzy, what happens? You start to stumble. You inflict in terms of affliction on yourself. This morning, God says, Stop. No more going around in circles, Ronessa. Hallelujah. No more circles. You're passing the mountains. You have surpassed the mountain long enough. Turn you northward. Turn, turn, turn. Tell anybody, turn. 
no more circles around here, sir. We go in the circles, too, we're going around, and we get dizzy. The children of Israel spent 40 years in the wilderness. Some of us spent 364 year, days. I go do the same thing over and over. And next year I say, God, how oh, am to me? Ouch. What God, oh, oh, how no, am to me? This area. We're going into a new year. God says, stop. Yes. Long enough. Yes. Turn northward. Yes. We're not going all around in a circle this morning. Yes. But we're going to take a different path this morning. Yes. Hallelujah. No more circles. No more circles. God, God, I break that in the name of Jesus this morning. I said, God, what is this word for? And God wants to break some things. Because we take everything for granted. Sometimes God gives us everything. But we quarrel. Mighty God. God, I do things for you and we are quarrel. Let us start with a praise on it now. Start give God a praise. And start thanking for some things around here, sir. Because when we want to start to thank him, then we start to break through, start come. Mighty God. So God wants to change the direction. Tell your neighbor, God wants to change your direction this morning. And the first thing God wants to change, first thing, point one, you need to change your mindset. Some of our mind runs to the right. The mind controls the body. Right? And if the mind is not right in the right place, God can't do nothing. The mindset of a change. So nothing that you'll do will ever change until that mind starts change. You see, and if you change that mindset, guess what we need? Spiritual intervention, mighty God, run yourself. Because you see, the mind is the hardest thing to control. Hallelujah. God sometimes has to give us, or you see, God has to give us a roadmap for life, you know. And you see, because our mind limited, Him can't give all light one time. Him have to give a peace, peace. Today, Him have to give like a peace, peace. Because you can't take it. Because Him have to give all light map, you get overload. You get emotionally overload. Yes. And God knows he can't deal with that. So you must give your vision, peace, peace. Yes. You can't take it all at once. So God, in terms of sometimes give us our roadmap for our life in pieces because we can't contain the full package. All right, God, I tell me I'm right, you know. As we are of unprepared, I will cast overload. It's a spiritual overload. Mighty God, run yourself. We get so overloaded with everything. Our mind is always at work. You see, the devil knew, you know, that he cannot, in terms of get a certain, you know, saying, him now go to the fornication thing, or them thing there. But him, the mind, him want the mind for sin against God. And him in your mind, nitty nitty, in your mind. So you know what you need to do? You need to fill up that space with the word of God. Colo- nothing could have said it better. Colossians 3 verse 1 to 4. And verse 2 says, set your affliction on things above. Not on the things of this earth. Verse 3, for you are dead and your life is hid in Christ, in God. Mighty God, what a protection. Your life is hid in Christ, in God. You want anything better than that? No. Eh? A full coverage, that, not the insurance coverage can cover that. Yeah. Them insur- insurance just collect money, but them don't cover nothing. <laughs> and collect. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah this morning. Are you happy to be here this morning? Yeah. I don't look like I'm not happy at all, you know. Yeah. And I don't want to quiet this, this morning, don't you, sir? Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. And you see, sometimes, you see when you, you, you develop that mindset now, and God control the mind, you know what next happen? You need to stop and limit God. Somehow we put a limit upon God. <coughs> because our mind is so limited, we put a limit upon God. God not going to come through and do this for me. You understand? Stop limit God. Yeah. We'll put a limit on God and we'll put a limit on our abilities that God has given us. We can't do that. Before you even start, you defeat yourself. You start to defeat yourself. So you need to start some positive thing around here, sir. Stop putting a limit upon God this morning. Yes. Hallelujah. When you put a limit upon God, nothing ever happens. But Philippians 4 verse 13, I can do all things. You never say some. I can do what? Some things. things. Most of the things, them. I can do all things through Christ which strengthened me this morning. Not some things, everything we need to do. Hallelujah. And Isaiah 15, you see, you see, we are so in terms of far from God. Sometimes we feel we haven't got a, a size run and say, you know. But look here. 
Isaiah 55 verse 9 put it. As the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts, your thoughts. Look here. We're far from God. We are trying to, to, to get holy to a place where we can be close to God. But so as we are get close to God, mighty God, that's how we are walking. And we have to walk it down. Every time we, we try to close that gap. Come here, brother. We try to close the gap here. See, ya? This is a God. Turn. You're not really God. It's gone. But go and walk. Go and walk. And we are walking now. We are trying to walk down. And God gone. We are trying to close the gap. And every time we're getting closer to God, our walk in terms of the gap. Get low. To get close to God, we have to be at a place. A holy place. Mighty God, a place where we can hear from God. To be close to God, we have to make sure so we do a holy power work. Mighty God, the mind. We have to make sure that God controls the mind. <coughs> I can do all things which Christ has strengthened me. You know, sometimes we need to do that. Next thing we need to do, mighty God, we need to change our language. Sometimes our language is not right, Royal sir. The language is not right. We thought the wrong thing. We talk out a turn. We need to stop and listen twice as hard and talk half as much. Hey, man, tell us something wrong saying. You can't imagine if God did get too much. Mighty God, wrong so. <laughs> Brother, how would that happen? If God did get too much. <laughs> Especially the woman, them. Because let me tell you, you know, they can't talk, you know. Man, the man, them, you have so many man, them can't talk to, but mighty God, the woman, them, wrong so. Oh, I see my wife, I, I pull back her head. I pick my head this morning. Because sometimes when I talk, I say, you, you don't know, baby, you don't know. Sometimes I make them talk till them done and them sign out. You understand know what I say? You don't have to say that next. The argument takes one minute. But anytime you, they love the answer back to you, see, man. Mighty God, when you talk to them, they want answer back. They want an echo. When I get no echo this morning in the name of Jesus. When them start and them dead, they say, eh? I say, love you, babe. Everything good. Argument done. Sign and seal. Sometimes we talk too much. You understand what I'm talking about? We're talking too much. So we need to change our language. We need to make sure to so put some positive declaration upon our life. Mighty God, everything we say, we know now come. Positive declaration. You see, sometimes we have to say, boy, I can't. We want to start this morning. Can we make some positive declaration this morning? No more I can't. I will. I must. No more I can't. Oh, you talk about I can't. Take it out of your vocabulary this morning. Because God don't want that. I will and I must. No pity party around you, sir. Hallelujah this morning. We need to make sure so we talk some positive things in our life. Sometimes I think, you know, hey, we get so mad sometimes nowadays. We say, God, I'm a madman around you, sir. People think I'm mad, you know. Around you, sir. I say, boy, I'm not really mad. I'm mad for God. I am never getting, I'm got to that position like this. And it takes me a lot of years to get here, you know. Because it take, God has to take you through a whole process. Amen? Amen. Things don't just happen so you don't reach at a certain place. He must carry through a process. Amen. And he must take you through the process. So he must start with the purification of the mind. He must control the mind. It's when he control the mind and everything in sync, then he can't start the work for you. A wise man said, insanity is doing the same thing over and over. Mighty God. I expect a different result. Every day you get up, you do the same thing. You're mad. <laughs> and that it mean. We are crazy. You cannot get up every day and do the same thing. Something must change. Yes. You have to do something for something to change in your life. Yes. You want then every day in your life you pass the mountain. Put a verse two back on the board for me. You know? Every day you pass the mountain. Mighty God, you pass the mountain. And you are doing a, you, you, in a set direction. God said, stop, man. You have come past this mountain long enough. Yes. Tell, tell any of long enough, man. Long enough. Long enough. Long enough. And today it, it, won't, it won't be the same. Tell anybody it won't be the same. A new season. A new season. Never the same. A new season. A new season. A new season. Touch him. A new season. New season. New season. New season. A new season. A new season. Hallelujah. It's a new season today. Not the old. Same old thing can't work. We're working at 2018. Can't work now. Hallelujah, we're working in, in, in a 2017 can't yeah, work, couldn't work in a 2018. Right. Hallelujah. We want to get back to the old days. Yeah. We're having a relationship with God, man. Guess what? This is a powerful one. Four. Mighty God. When God gave me the one, let me say, I mean, I'm talk about. Stop living in the past. Live in the now. 
and learn and let God worry about the future. We don't know nothing what's going on. We are in the now, right now. We just know what is happening now. Not even for the next minute. And we still don't worry about it. We worry about the past. We need for God to come through and give us a God give me a clean. When they wipe computer, you know, when they wipe the computer, they wipe the memory. Some of our memory runs are one wipe. Every time you remember the things that happen to you, my to God disturb everything. Me say that's why me eat the one that say, you know. Every time, you know, you know, she them do things that hurt me. All 20 years, mighty God, and you still have it in your memory. And that's just all in your back. You make you walking in circles. You need to let them go. Tell your neighbor, let them go. You need to let them go. I was walking in circle for years. Years me walking in a circle. Till one God, one day God stopped me and said, stop. I want you to change direction. And him say, you need to call a person and tell them that you have forgiven them. And I say, man, you ever feel like you're you underneath a ton? And some brick can have some, some iron pan top of your head? And the day I do it, I feel light. Yes, yes. Mr. God, this feel good. I can't go on my bed and sleep now. Nobody in my mind. Yes. I say, when I go down, I put my head down, man. I tell you I sleep well. God, I say, Holy Ghost, take control. We have, in terms of our past, and we dwell upon the past. Look here. The past is not getting nowhere. You need to let it go. Tell your neighbor, let it go. Let go of the past. Stop whining in circles with your past and your past sets up. And I whine around you and wrap up your foot. You're going to drop. You're going to dizzy. And because of that, you're inflicting personal damage on yourself. No people go to the doctor, mighty God, they're not physically sick. Mentally, they're sick because it's emotional more than anything. And guess what? My doctor got him more upon the same man. You see, emotion thing. And that's why I said, mind. So, God, I want mind control. I want God to put me on his mind control. Because when he controls his mind, let me tell you something, everything is set up for great success. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The body in line, everything line up, everything line up well. People see and they say, oh, you look so. Oh, oh, oh you look so chumpy. You know, I was at work and the man said, oh, you look so. Oh, you, oh, you look like you're a young boy. So. Yes. And I said, yeah, because I'm a young boy, I'm a full of God grace. We're on here, so. yes. I said, well, where are you different? I said, I go and I serve God. I mean, give God where you must get first, and God bless me. Yes. So if you know I'm blessing around you, so make sure you put God first. Amen. Tell your neighbor, put God first. Put God, put God first. first. Stop walking around in the mountain. You have circumpassed this mountain. Too much time, you have passed your mountain. Sometimes God wants to take you out of the mountain. And mighty God, see around it, yeah? You just have walk around the mountain. You're walking around the mountain. You're walking around in circle. And God said, I want to change your direction this morning. Me don't want to walk around the mountain anymore. Change direction. Head northward. Change. Find a direction. But not the same direction that you're going. Stop living in the past, man. Trust God who, who know the future. Yeah. I am right the, the plan them run it, so. Yeah. And a man. So it's when the man are right, when the man are in terms of plan, God to wipe out. Yeah. But say, I tell you something. You know, you know, but God put a spirit in I me, mean, you know. I'm saying, I get so bold. Me walk up to anybody. Look here, man. He said, God said, walk up to anybody. Me go on, you know, man. I mean, just walk up in them face and say yes. I mean, say, yeah, man. And then I look at me like, I mean, like me a madman or anything. Yeah, because God has given me that strength, that power to talk to anybody. And I don't think they, I respect God. I respect people too. I was walking out in terms of coming out of the plan. And you know, people say, you know, you know, bossy, you know, say, you know, you're the best manager around the place. Yeah? All the rest of them, you know, I say, you know, so what do you think the difference is? We know God. I said, look here. When I manage people, I don't do, do use it, do use it the techniques where, they, where people tell you. Because people complicated around yourself. Them are the wire differently. If you go in terms of the tell you, say you have 16 personality mix up, right? So now we have about 16, a whole heap of personality mix up. Everybody. And you're looking upon them, you're looking upon somebody and say, something wrong with her, eh? Ain't nothing wrong with her. She does not you. She's not you. So you want her to be you. Cannot work. Everybody has their own identity. What a God we serve. You have to learn to understand people and their emotion. And let me tell you, try to manage them on that. If you don't love people, try to find a job that you have people to manage. You see, God knows that, you know. So before David became king, he let David go start managing some ag and goats first. He sent David to manage some sheep in the field. 
And when David could have managed the sheep in the feet and the goat and the calf, they said, you know, you can't manage people because you understand the people's heart. Somehow we need to manage you in terms of we learn to manage yourself first before we can manage other, other people around here. So. Yes. We need to manage people. If you don't love people, yes. leave it alone. Yes. We need to let go of the past relationship and all them things there. And you know what, what, in terms of God giving this one here, and boy, this one on the way in cost me for this one, you know. But I me come from, I'm from God, it come from. So I'm going to take it up with God. You understand what I'm saying? All right. God wants you to manage your life by learning to manage your time. Mighty God. So, ouch. 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 So, ouch. ouch. Because they want to lick me too. If you don't manage your time, you can't manage your life. And sometimes you see God give you a vision to, to do something. You can't do it. You have to make sure so people know. So when they call upon you, brother, 7 o'clock, you're there at 7 o'clock. You need to be punctual. But guess what? You have an opportunity to, to, to make sure so you can practice. A few months ago, in terms of the man of God changed the, 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 the worship program in this church here. And we used to come like what? 8 o'clock? Mighty God, and we late for 8 o'clock. We late for 8 o'clock. We say, 7 o'clock. We say, 7 o'clock. And mighty God, you want to see the people, you want to see everybody face. We say, 7 o'clock, if we can reach you at 8 o'clock, how are we going to reach you at 7 o'clock? <laughs> mighty God, run us up. But this was the vision of God Amen. through our prophet. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you something at 7 o'clock, though. It makes me start to wake up early. Yes. Let me tell you, I'm, everybody goes to reach at school early yes. because I wake up like a church. Me, I go around here, yes. sir. And everybody start to wake up early. Everybody reach when I'm going to Let me tell you something. Yes. Where well, oh, start? The house of God. You see, if you don't try to be on time, everything I got. Some people cannot manage them time. You know why? Them can't manage, if they don't manage, you don't know what you're going to do. People who manage their time can find much more things to do in a day within 24. I tell you, than somebody. You ask them, what are you going to do? Well, I'm in a new year, you know. Them don't know what they're going to do. Cannot manage your time. But God said this morning, I'm only accountable for your time. Because you need to manage your life by learning to manage your time. God, this is very important. Implementation without application brings frustration. Mighty God. Because sometimes we have to do some things wrong and say, no man. And we can't even, and we're frustrated. But guess what? We need to make sure that we are doing what God says we need to do. Hallelujah. And in terms of we need for what? First, change your mindset. We need to change the mindset by developing a heavenly mindset. Yes. Hallelujah. And after we change the mindset, we need to change the emo, stop limiting God. Yes. Put a limit on God. We don't put a limit on God. We need to change our language with positive declaration over our lives. Hallelujah. We need to stop living at the past and start living at the No, and let God, in terms of direct our future. Hallelujah. And God wants to manage your life by learning to manage your time. Mighty God around here, sir. Was it good for you to be in the house of God today? Yes. Hallelujah. I mean, I don't know where the word I come from, but I said God. Yes. And that's what God wanted to hear, but God is saying, stop walking around the circles this morning. Stop. Change your direction.